Hey YouTube, welcome Mike here. Today we're going to talk about ATC. So ATC stands for Air Traffic Control. If you've seen any of my videos, any of my flight videos, you would hear on the radio that I'm either talking to someone on the radio or I'm getting instructions from someone on the radio. So ATC is somebody that is controlling the air traffic around me for the most part. That's a, I feel like that's the simplest way I can say it, okay? So if you're taking commercial flights, if you travel either uh, nationally or internationally, you'd never hear anything on the radio. You may hear music whenever you're sitting down or whatever have you, but you most likely never hear uh, the coding type of stuff that is on the radio but the pilots in the cockpit are constantly talking to somebody on the radio because whoever they're talking to, ATC, is either directing the traffic flow or they're getting instructions for if they need to turn this way or if they need to go this direction. So that's really what ATC is about. They help you as a pilot, they help you either direct your traffic flow or they give you instructions on where to go. You can also get sometimes weather uh, information from ATC. Okay, that's just a little bit of history there. And um, I believe the first ATC was first introduced back in 1921 in London. You can look this up. Uh, it was first in introduced here in the US uh, in 1922. And just imagine if ATC did not exist, <laughs> uh, we would probably have more collisions and more accidents, more air traffic and more uh, air uh, accident. Uh, but because of this service, a lot of pilots are able to fly safe every single day. Okay, but the point of this video is not so much to learn about the history of ATC, but to learn about the language of ATC. Uh, as I said before, it stands for air traffic control, but I like to call it air traffic communication because um, I remember when I first started uh, training for my pilot license, uh, ATC, talking to ATC was so nerve wracking for me. And if you, whenever you start your journey, you would probably go through the same experience because I remember it feeling like a whole new language. And that's what it's going to feel like to you. Uh, if you pay attention to it, and I'll play a few videos here for you so we can go through a few things and I can sort of explain uh, what they're saying or what they're saying means okay so if you ever hear at first what is being said you definitely hear English in there you, you're going to hear uh, something like either turn left or turn a taxiway Delta alpha whatever have you uh, so you pick up English words but you may ask yourself what the hell does that mean and ATC one thing you find out with ATC is you can get multiple instructions. The idea of ATC is speaking in very short, short script. So you can get like 10 different instructions within like a two second script. Um, and again, as a beginner's pilot, even that I'm speaking to you now, I understand the basic stuff, but I could be in the air today and, you know, I, I get an instruction from ATC um, and I don't understand. But the good news is it's another human being on the other line and you can always ask, can you please repeat that or what does this mean? Whatever it is that's being said to you. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you first uh, just what I mean. Here's a sample video of early on in my training, uh, my pilot training, and we went to this airport and I could not for the life of me understand what this lady was telling me over the radio. Check it out. Okay. Now, you're going to ask for for clear for um, taxi back, okay? I don't want you to think right now. I want you to just to write what he tells you. If you're not going to push right now, you might not make your window. It's okay. in the two minutes, but if not, off by 42. We're pushing back right now for Jumbo 1436. So we're taxiing back. Yeah. So tell her, um, you know, 8 Delta Sierra. Uh, uh, bravo. Uh, bravo. Taxi back. Long Beach Ground, down the star, 6-0 Delta Sierra at Bravo. Taxi back. Yeah, I'm in sorry, 68 Delta Sierra, Long Beach Ground, right now, that's a Delta Taxi, Delta Fox, Crossway 3, foot left. Taxi via what? Say again. Just say, say again. Say again, please, 8 Delta Sierra. I'm sorry, Delta Sierra, Long Beach Ground, Delta Taxi, Delta Fox, Crossway cross, 3, foot left. <laughs> I got it. Long Beach 3, 4, left, Taxi yeah. via Fox, no. right, that's right. No, 2, 5, left, at, write it down. 2, 5, left at Delta. Taxi via 
Taxi via Foxtrot, stop the airplane. Taxi via Foxtrot, cross runway 3 4 left. Oh, sure, that's a lot. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly I'm struggling here. Now let's try this in slow motion. I'm sorry, Delta Zero, my left is Delta Taxi via Foxtrot, cross runway 3 4 left. Okay guys, were you paying attention there? Now if you listen to the slow motion version, you can clearly hear her say Diamond Star 8 Delta Sierra runway 25 left at Delta Taxi via Foxtrot cross runway 34 left. Alright, see what I was saying earlier how multiple instructions are coded into sort of, uh, sort of short script and as a new pilot here I could not even understand what she was telling me because again air traffic control because of time factor and for safety reasons um, they have to speak to you so fast alright but really what she was telling me was go to I want to go back up and cross runway two you know and get to runway two five left so I can fly out again so she basically told me in order to get to runway two five left I have to go through Delta I mean I have to go through Foxtrot taxiway Foxtrot while I cross runway three four left okay now let's try another example of ATC radio communication now in this next example I'm a little bit more experienced, a little bit more trained, and I'm able to fly solo on my own. I'm still a student pilot here, but as you can see, I'm just a little bit more uh, confident and less nervous talking to ATC, and partly because I can understand a little better, and I can respond also based on what I'm being told. Now, check out this example. Over to right now, Okay, so let me explain quickly what you just heard over the radio. The first aircraft, the Cessna, calls in Camarillo Tower and tells him that he's coming in for some pattern work. And then the tower responds to him to come in and do a right traffic pattern. And it tells him also the active runway, which is runway 26. And as you can see, uh, they go back and forth because the, the aircraft did not confirm that he had the current ATIS, which is November. Now in my call-in, I call the tower and I let him know that I'm coming in, I let him know my altitude and where I am, and I also let him know that I have the current ATIS, which is November. And then the tower responds and lets me know the active runway, which is 26. He also tells me to report 4 miles east. Camera tower, make straight in runway 26, report 4 east. Make straight in, we'll report 4 east, I want out here. So guys, that's all of it in a nutshell. I hope... Uh, that I was able to help um, in the explanation that I was given. And I hope this helps you understand what air traffic control is uh, for the most part. At least you get a better understanding of what it is. If you have any questions or something I didn't cover, leave your comments below uh, and let me know. Okay, guys, so until the next video, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.